Welcome back. Welcome back. Taco is very slowly making his way through the forest. There's lots of M's. There's lots of M's. And the cat is here with us to provide all of his thrilling commentary. Yeah. He was really interested in what's going on. And by really interested, I mean he's looking not at the TV and right at our faces. Now he's <laughs> scratching my leg. He just very gently reaches his paw out and then digs his claws S right into it. Slightly <laughs> rakes me a little bit. I would like your attention, sir. Sir? Excuse me. Excuse me, good sir. Moment of a time, perhaps. He's fishy, he's just here. That's nice. It's nice that it, it's, it left and. <laughs> Jaeger, stop. Stop trying to destroy fish his fish. leg. Jaeger, this is unprofessional. <laughs> You're our editor, for God's sakes. Please. Fish. Look, I, I don't want you to be alive anymore. I just... Bad hug. That's really all I have to say. You've got some boundary issues, Fish. Come on. Some real boundary issues. Really? Okay, then. Slip past this guy if I can. Nope. Oh, no, nope, I can. He got me. You so. can just make it sun. like. Yeah, I might after this. You can make it daytime, and that'll cut down on the amount of probably will. demon scrolls. So how do you like the way they handle random battles in here? It's like you can kind of see them. You're kind of running I mean, it, from the symbol of an enemy. I made comment about this in Skyborn that it's a lot like Earthbound. Yeah. In that there are enemies out on the map, but you can walk away from them if you're fast enough. And I kind of like that mechanic because it means you don't get dragged into a battle that you have to run from. You at least have an extra bit of warning. Right. Um, whereas with like the Final Fantasy style random battle, it's pretty much like, ugh, every time you take like five yeah, steps. Like an inch from the town and you need like, you have like one potion left. And... Really? Cat would like to contribute to this. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. There's a cardinal out there and he's not having any of that shit. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this better than random battles, the Final Fantasy way, yeah. but I don't know if it's still, like, the optimum way to do this. It's interesting. It's definitely less frustrating. Yeah. Oh, oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, I'm in the corrupted area? Yeah. Oops. Okay, um, where did you come from? I came from this way. You sure? Because you're going down. I thought I came from over here. You might have just gotten turned around. Okay, go down the steps. I never saw this. Go down the steps. And go into that cave. Okay. I think the soothsayer is in there. All right. She's a crazy old lady that lives in a cave and has antlers on her head. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Those are the best kind. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. Huh? What's a house doing here in this cave? Actually, I think she has an entire deer skull on her head. How could anyone live here with that cursed zone spreading around? Cursed zone. Cursed. <clears throat> hmm. These cursed zone areas, or no? Those are just chests that are on fire. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> hey, I should save. You should probably save. Um, uh. So some of this stuff is stuff that you can only touch once you get the water abilities. Mm -hmm. Which you don't have right now. No, I do not. Jaeger. Oh my. What else? What else do you think? Give us your whole view on this entire game. I Nothing. see. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> just gonna lick my butt. Step, 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 step. Yeah, um... So this is the place where she lives. Well, it's kind of a nice place. It's bigger and roomier than most other places, houses in this game. I'm not, I'm not gonna take your chest, though. You got stray bead. Yay. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. It's not that special. Hello. Mm. Okay. Sorry, maybe it is that special. Madam Fawn. Ha ha ha. You've come, White Wolf. And you look troubled. You may call me Madam Fawn. I read bones and see the future. Oh. That's normal. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. I'm not just some crazy lady in the woods. 
Bow and read her. Madam yeah, she's Fawn. actually pretty cool. I like her. Yeah. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it is not predestined to happen. However, this year is special. Is it? This is the hundredth year since Nagi and Shiranir Shir the dog. Shiranu! I saw the enormous cursed area on your way here. Oh, you saw it. Yeah. I saw it too, but that's okay. You don't leave your house. I live here. <laughs> Land rendered barren. All who approach taint by taint. <laughs> I can't read today, guys. Darkened by taintedness. Gross. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Orochi. Even so, the rate at which it spreads. Incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian sapling. Oh my gosh. There's nothing in this world. Perhaps you will encounter one here in the Agata for I don't know, it's a forest lady, you think? Maybe I will. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Who the hell comes out here to buy anything? Like I told you, I'm a fortune tech. Well, there used to be a fairy, so okay, maybe a true, lot of people came true, down here. True, true, true. If you have money, I can even tell your future wolf. Interested? So what she does basically is if you forget what you're doing or you don't know where you're going or you yeah. can't find the thing you want, she's a method to get it. I see. I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, you don't have to. 500 yens. I remember when fortune telling was like 10 yen. Come back anytime you're in need of my services. <laughs> you That's not weird. Yeah, you don't laugh when you tell someone to come back. It's, it's usually... I mean, the theme in her house is also a little creepy too. Yeah. It's a cool house though. I like it. I think you can go back down towards the, the chest. See how there's kind of a break in the wall there? Mm. So there is. What the hell? Oh, it's a healing spot. That's cool. I didn't know that was there. I didn't know these existed at all in the game. Have we seen one of these before? Uh, no. Hit it. Whack. Creepy. His oh. head came off. Okay. And then it just landed back normal. Oh, money. Money. Take her money. Take the old one's money. If I just break your stuff, I'll get... Oh, does this gong? Yeah. Does just like the gong in the in the priest's house, you can um, just, like, bang your face again. It doesn't bah. do anything, but... It's funny. It's fun. That's cool. Oh, wait. Actually, uh, there's an orange that's gone now. Okay, there is an orange in the gong, oh. apparently. Well, I missed that. Yay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, bye, old lady. The, the, the deer. On your on head. On your head. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. So I need water abilities of some sort. To get to those, yeah. To deal with them fires. Yep. What's over this way? A uh, water spout and a chest. You also need water abilities to get to that. Right. Well, I can lily there. I can really onto the water, I just can't. Yeah. And I need something to, can I bomb that? Nope. Does not work. Can I? Can I? Hmm. Alright. I don't think you have the ability yet. <clears throat> Let me try slashing it. Just to try. Sure. Just to try, I don't want to be dummy and realize that's what it needed to be like hours from now. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. That's hard crystal, I guess you can't get to it. Yeah, that hard crystal, you can't break it with slashes. Okay, um, I think you can kind of skirt the cursed zone on the shore here, and then, nope, I am wrong. Mm -hmm. Instant curse. Mm. Instant Go curse. Curse back up the stairs. I'll do no such thing. Okay, and then run up the path. Eh. Okay, wait. Yeah, this is the way back up. Yeah. Go back down. Mm -hmm. Wait, stop. Scroll path. This way? That way. I see. Do I need to drop down and go in there? You might have to jump over there, yeah. I don't think you go into the curse stone, because the curse stone is the water. Can I put a lily down and land on it? No. Precariously? <sighs> You're up too far now. You're probably going to land right into the shit zone. Hmm. There is a ledge that you can walk along down there. And you were looking straight at it. See? Oh. I don't know if this puts you into the curse. Nope. You are right on the edge of it. Cool. Go down. 
and see if you can get into that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. This is the waterfall with the cave behind it. It's lovely. It's nice. Oh. Oh. Bomb that Bomb shit. time. Boom. Boom. Oh, that was a fireworks one. Is that usually the <gasps> one? A guardian sapling. There you go. Now we'll Heal that cure shit. the whole place. You I don't know, know why it's in a cave, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, I've never known trees to do that, really. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Now we get to watch this awesome thing again. Now we see this. I got a forest. Get nice and pretty. Right? Boom. Oh, trolls rumbling crazy. Yeah. Here's some trees that just spawn. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. It's fast acting garden sapling here. Yeah, I guess it's like, okay, you, valley, you already just... did a bunch of shit already to fix the one in the valley, so this one just works this time. Yay. It's pretty. Also, I think you have a boss fight after this. Oh. Like immediately in this area? Or? Right after you come out of the cave. Okay. Well, maybe I'll save going outside the cave until next time. Um, well, you can kind of look around in here. So much praise. So much praise. Yeah, you get that a lot. That tree's very thankful. Money! Oh, no. Because you obtained? Devout bees. So that's a weapon. Oh, I got a new weapon. Yeah. A new divine instrument guarded by a guardian sapling at... Wow! Saki is going to spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. So you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. But remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. Yep. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. Yep. So you now... can even pull off some secret techniques with the sub-weapons. So okay. if you have, you have a mirror, that's a weapon you have right now, it's your divine mirror. Yeah. You can switch out the beads as your main weapon and put the mirror in sub-weapon and it gives you different abilities. Or you can put the beads in sub-weapon. Hmm, okay. Rosary gives you rapid attacks when equipped as a sub-weapon, but if you have it equipped as a main weapon, she whips it out and she has a longer reach, and every time a bead hits, it does damage. So okay. you can do multiple successive hits with one stroke. Gotcha. And that's all I'm going to tell you for now. This is what I already had. That's what you have equipped in your main slot right so now. So I, ha I don't have a secondary at all right now. You do. I do? Equip the beads in the main slot. Yeah. Main. Oh, now, now this Now put is the mirror here. in the sub slot. I see. I have to switch them. So now when you have go up. That's just your sub slot right now. Um, you can switch it back out anytime you want, so your your mirror can become your your secondary weapon. But now she actually has the beads equipped. Yeah. It acts as a shield now, so you have the ability to guard now that it's a sub weapon. Okay. Yep. Hold that for guardian for each time a guardian sapling is revived. Make sure to stop by the tree whenever you return. Okay. So we can go back to her tree and she'll have a fruit for you. Cool. All right. And I think... Oh, it's bunny. It's bunnies. And bunnies in this bunnies. cave with this tree. Yeah. Doing so much good today. Bunnies. All right. Well, we will see you guys next time on Octo Owl and perhaps there will be a boss battle. All right. I'm looking forward to it if there is. Yay. All right. See ya. Bye. Oh, it's a dig spot.